Welcome back to Sunless Sea. This is going to be a very fun episode. So at the moment I'm at Khan's Glory, and my plan for this episode, which should be pretty easy to accomplish I think, is to go back to Fallen London, get a crap ton of candles and five Dark Drop coffee beans, come back to Khan's Glory, use the five sacks of Dark Drop coffee beans to gain the one favor that I need to unlock, well probably unlock the trade network here, see what they sell, which should be interesting because I've been meaning to gain access to the trade network here for a very long time, so I'm really curious what they're going to have. And then take my crap ton of candles over to Godfall, and go explore that place properly. So this is going to be fun. Let's go! Ten fuel. Should be plenty to get back to London. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll go a little bit easy on my fuel just for the beginning, because I'm near lights. But as soon as it goes red, I'm going to turn them on. And... boink! What is that? That is awfully fast. I think it's a jellyfish. I'm gonna avoid it. Probably won't see me because my lights are off. Oh, never mind, it saw me. Eh, whatever. I can outrun it. I'm not gonna bother fighting, it's not worth it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it literally cannot catch me. Oh, I guess I already have a port report for this place. Um, do I want to spend my something awaits me in port? Is it going to be back by the time I get back to London? Yeah, it'll be back. Gained five terror. <laughs> All right. Also gained one fuel and one supplies. Actually, since my terror is going to be reduced down to fifty anyway, I might as well just turn off my lights. gladly shoot you. Another strange catch. Well, now my terror is below 50, so I guess I might as well leave my lights on. I always feel like I'm going to leave my lights off and just run dark until London, and then have my terror reduced to 50, but I almost always encounter some weak enemy when I get close to London that ends up reducing my terror down below 50. Probably already have a port report for this place, but let's check. Mm-hmm. Gonna save my something waits me in port. Alright, so just thinking it over while I'm traveling, I'm going to need 12 candles at least, at the absolute least, because again, it took me 6 candles to get into the middle and back out. So, assuming everything goes perfectly, I'm going to need 12, which means, just to be careful, I should probably take 13 to 14. And then I'm also going to need 5. Uh, 5 more hold space for the dart drop coffee beans. So, roughly, I'm going to have about 20 slots left for supplies and fuel. Let me see if I have any recent news that I can trade for a Z story. Yes, I do. Now I've got two Z stories. Uh... 
Am I above or below London? Uh, below. Okay. Thought maybe I was coming at it from above. Boink. Okay, messages from the Harbor Master. Let's turn to my trinket box. 100 Echo, nice. Let's sell my knickknacks. What do I have? Um, do I want the strange catches? I want to hold on to one so I can talk to the bandaged cook. If I ever come across Muter Salt, but I definitely don't want two, and I also don't want the Bolt of Spider Silks. So let's sell those. Sell the Bolt of Spider Silk. I can sell strange catches here, right? I hope. Oh crap, I can't, can I? I can't. Alright, well, that's staying with me. Alright, let's turn the port report, see how much fuel I get. Actually, wait. Mm hmm. No, let's buy the supplies first and see how much room I have to work with. Alright, um, this is gonna be expensive. Again, 12 is the absolute minimum for candles. If I'm gonna do this, I wanna just go whole hog and just guarantee that I that I get this done. Because I would feel so stupid if I came all this way and spent like 400 Echo only to be to have to stop like on the steps of the Grand Temple or something. So. 12 is the minimum. Let's go with 14. Then I also need 5 Dark Drop Coffee Beans. I do need 5, right? Yeah, 5 Dark Drop Coffee Beans for 1 Leopard's Favor and Khan's Glory. Yep, looking at my notes right now. Yeah, so five Dark Drop Coffee Beans. And I was thinking that Dark Drop Coffee Beans are cheaper in Adam's Way, which they indeed are. Yeah, there are 38 in Adam's Way. And they are 50 here, but of course it's much easier to get them here than it is to get them all the way down here. Okay, got enough candles, got enough dark drop coffee beans. How much hold space do I have? Six more spots. I might just dump one strange catch. It's not worth that much. Eh. I'll keep it, I guess. Alright, now let's turn to some port reports. Oh, yes, this is the huge, huge port report that I just turned in for, um, I was going to say Savior's Hands, Empire of Hands, the ape people. The one that I worked really hard to get, so this one's unique. Such a ghastly place. A pause. You know, there was somebody here asking about it only recently. Delightful lady, as I recall. Most delightful. Yes. I shall take the liberty of forwarding her your address. 300 Echo. Nice. Alright, my monkey business quality is now 10. And something awaits you in your lodgings. Something new. Somebody new. Perhaps an officer who wants to sign a, sign a board, I'm thinking. Alright, got a little bit more room. Let's turn the Chelinate. Yeah, I figure that one's worth more than the others, and it indeed is. 50 Echo. I kind of want to get more candles. I really, really want to make sure I have enough candles. Like, I really, really want to make sure. I'm going to dump one of these. How do I dump stuff? Uh... 
I've never actually dumped stuff just on its own. Um. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Nope. That's stupid. There's a better thing I can do with it. Why don't we give it to the Alarming Scholar? Much better than getting rid of it for no money whatsoever. There we go. Ten echo for it. Something. And by the way, maybe I should increase my relations with the Antiquarians. I haven't done that for a while. Because I could do it with uh, Memories of a Distant Shore, and I have so many of these. I imagine if you keep increasing your favor, they'll give you a quest or something at some point. Increase to four. Let's see if I can get it up to five. Yep, there we go. It's up to five. Okay, I'll leave it there. Well, what the hell? <laughs> Whatever this is, if you choose this option, the scholar will become permanently unavailable. Seven Searing Enigmas. Jesus. I wonder what that does. Alright, uh, recent news. Morning papers. Time with my family. Tell a tale of far lands to my kid. Lose 20 tear. Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. How's it looking? Right, a couple more candles. I think two more candles should be fine, so I can have one more fuel. So let's turn to one more port report. There's also the Vital Intelligence. Should I turn that in? I probably should. But I'm worried he's going to hand me like 20 supplies or something, which is not going to fit inside of my hold, so I'm just going to leave that for now. Okay, two more candles. Alright. We should have more than enough candles to fully explore that place. I've got my five dark drop coffee beans. Plenty of supplies and plenty of fuel to at least just get over there. Because again, I'm just going to resupply at Con Shadow or Con's Glory. If once I open up the trade network, it's actually cheaper there. And I think that's it. Full of people. Hold is 100 or hole is 100%. Um, morning papers, venture ship, uh, that's all good. Okay, let's go. I'm excited. I'm excited. What are they going to sell at the market? What's going to be inside of the Grand Cathedral place that I need candles to go into inside of? Is it going to be full of ghosts? Am I going to die? <gasps> Oh. Stephen was a very bad person. in the water down here. What is that? Seems fast, so I'm guessing it's a jellyfish? No, wait, that's very large. That's a huge um, mega something thing. Yeah, I'll take you on. This gun is so good. Its stagger ability, especially, is really nice. Let's butcher it. One supply. Right, another unprepossessing mass. Once again, let's cut it open. Mmm. Delicious. Get a port report up here. 
Assuming I actually turned in this port report at the Admiralty, I might not have. I don't remember. Looks like I did. Explore the island. <laughs> Blemigans again. 90% chance of success at observing the colony, so let's do that. I think I read this before. Hmm. No, I don't think I did, actually. This doesn't sound familiar. A complex situation. They do resemble the fruiting bodies of fungus. The mound itself looks fungal. Are they the same organism? And they communicate and cooperate. You watch as they drag a marsh rat up the side of the mound, bickering over the disposition of its flesh. And you watch as a half-dozen stand on top of the mound, listening respectfully, uh, respectfully to the chittering of a seventh. It's improbably reminiscent of a poetry recital. You take notes. Blemigan Poetry. Ah, uh, looks like I already, uh, did not turn in my port report for this place. Yeah, we can go ahead and pick over the encampment. We gain five tear, two more fuel, two more supplies. I don't care about you, please leave me alone. Look, if you want to get shot full of holes by a Canate warship, then please do follow me. Okay, it finally got wise. Excited. What's gonna happen? What are they gonna sell? Let's offer a gift to the leopard. Yep, there's one more favor. Let's see what this says. You meet with an effusive official in a room of blue glass and pierced porcelain. You supply the customary compliments and courtesies, while he nods complacently. Finally, you present a sample of the coffee. The official comes suddenly awake, inhales the scent of the coffee glances regretfully at the porcelain screen behind him. A watcher. He bows to you three times and sends you on your way. Okay. Here we go. Five condescension. This gives access to the Nefriti Quarter in Khan's Heart to the south, allowing you to sell your goods there. 
I now have a ring! <gasps> it must have worked! A grand ceremony. The effusive official is today attended by three servants and a blue priest, each carrying a candle of a different color. He speaks a formula in Kaganian, in Greek, and in one of the languages of the Elder Continent. You are anointed with oils and presented with a pair of sharkskin gloves. The blue priest admits you to a slightly less debased echelon of foreignness and blesses you in the name of the deep blue heaven. After that, you start filling in forms. Ah, bureaucracy. <laughs> I love this line here, though. The blue priest admits you to a slightly less debased echelon of foreignness. <laughs> That's a beautiful line. Okay. Well, time to go south, I guess. Yeah, there's no shops here, so gotta go. I do enter the Nefridi Quarter, which I do realize is probably pronounced Nefrite or something, but Nefridi just sounds so much cooler. And I think it's a valid pronunciation. Alright, you have the token that permits you to enter the Nefridi Quarter and buy directly from Canate Merchants. Oh man, you can't have a suspicion over nine, and I already have six. Let's not do anything suspicious. Visit the shops tab. Ooh. Ooh. Some new stuff here. Um. Oh, shit. Foxfire candles 30. I think that's... Weren't they 40 back in London? Hold on. Oh, well, that's to sell, not to buy. I think there were 40 back in London, which means I think I totally overpaid for them now. If only I knew. You can buy Bolts of Spider Silk. Empty Mirror Catch Box, that's the same price as it is at Con Shadow. Dark Drop Coffee Beans, it's a decent price. And this is new, it's a thing to sell. That's something I can make back at my lodgings, I believe. A feather. That sells for very, very little. Two Echo. Hmm. Okay, well this is a decent place to resupply with the basics for a fairly reasonable price. And what about this? Oh, of course, you can get romantic literature, which is banned back in London. Yeah, in London, customs duty is paid on love stories, even illustrated love stories. Hmm. Well, now that the merchant venturer isn't interested in trading, I wonder what I would do with this stuff. I don't even know what that is. Alright, well this wasn't quite as epic as I thought it might be. But still, it is nice to have a fairly good place to resupply. That's pretty much directly in the center of the entire map. It means you're never too far away from a good place to trade. So let me add all this stuff to my spreadsheet and I will be right back. There we go. Went ahead and added everything to my list. So yeah, I realize that the romantic literature can be used for Abbey Rock. How close is that? It's not too far away. I don't think I want to go there right now, but I can definitely do that very, very soon. Perhaps on my way back to London. Because if you remember, I'm trying to get one of my officers. What is her name? The Presbyterate Adventuress. I'm trying to get her killed. <laughs> Which sounds really mean, but she does actually want to die. In a fight to the death. An honorable fight to the death. And if you remember, I went to the uh, Abbey's Rock, and as I wrote down in my notes, the exact words on my notes are, 
Five romantic literature to be delivered to Abbey Rock for fight to the death with a romantic beast monster thing. Because apparently the romantic literature is to summon the rom romance beast. Which just sounds like some sort of weird porno. Like, I'm, I'm just imagining that they're going to fight to the death. But without actually killing each other or doing any serious damage to each other, they're both going to both gonna end up just like really sweaty. And then they'll just have like sweaty monster sex. I don't know. It sounds kind of hot, to be honest. <laughs> I just realized she's over 100 years old, too. <laughs> the pres presbyterate adventurous. She doesn't look her age, though. Mm, hot, sweaty monster sex fight to the death between a hundred plus year old woman and a monster. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, um. Yeah, I think we're done here. I don't want to do any. I don't want to do anything that can risk increasing my suspicion because I don't want to lose access to the trade quarter. Not going to seek intelligence. I'm not going to do anything. I, I don't. I don't care. Nope. Chancy, tough, forty-eight uh, percent. I might do this if I have more veils later, maybe. No, I'm not worried about that for now. I'll maybe do that when my veils are higher. But for now... Wait a minute. I need fuel, don't I? Yeah, let's get some fuel. Just a little bit. Plenty for now, because I'm just heading over to Godfall to use my candles. Take a stop at Con Shadow for a port report. Assuming I already turned it in. Because if I didn't, then I can't get another one. Nope, no port report. I don't want to avoid the fog, but eh, screw it. That tear's not too bad. Oh shit. No, you don't. No, you don't. Alright, we're going away, going around the back. Yeah, killing that thing, that Kanate warship, I believe it is, would increase my suspicion with the Kanate. Let's not do that. Not worth it. <sighs> I wonder what I'm gonna find inside. All these candles. Port report? Yeah, there we go. Port report. Don't want to turn in my hunting trophy because I need that for Port Cecil to get more Sintelag and whatnot. Okay. I have 16 freaking candles. This should be enough for anything I need to do in here. Let's go. Alright. I went three levels deep before. Again, at the moment, it's a 100% chance of success to go deeper. So, let's go deeper. Eats up one candle. And let's remember how many deep I am as well. I'm actually going to write it down, because I don't want to forget. I mean, shit could go crazy in here. Alright. So, one candle I've used up. I'm one deep. Just wrote it down. Labyrinth, believe a... Yeah, 100% chance of success. Let's go. This does not use a candle. Again, one fragment, everything's good. Let's go deeper. Success. Now I've used up two candles. I'm too deep. 
Labyrinth again, 100% chance of success, we're fine. Okay, three deep, and I believe that's where before I found a, a special place that my Nacreous outcast uh, looked at and apparently found the place very meaningful for some reason. Alright, that's three deep. Midpoint of the Citadel. Here we go. Church of the Starved Men. It's probably the same thing that happened before, right? Yeah, it looks like it, it didn't happen because I already did it before, so nothing to do there. And this is where I went back before, but this time, of course, we're going to go forwards. Deeper. In the fifth tangle of tunnels. I'm four deep. Okay, this is different. Yeah, this one is not 100% chance of success. The Glittering Crisis. You stumble into the heart of a geode. Quartz crystals twist the light and spangle it into your eyes. It's like trying to outstare molten silver. Go carefully. God, do you know how cool that'd be? To be inside of a geode? A geode that's so large you can stand inside of it? That'd be so freaking cool. Let's do it. Probably gonna fail. Oh no, I succeeded. You graze the back of your hand against a sharp crystal. Blood blooms briefly. Eh, safe enough. Is it still 100% chance? Yep, still 100% chance of success. Excellent. Deeper. Alright. That's five candles used. Alright, this one's even harder, isn't it? Oh, this one's Veils, actually. 40%. That's not terrible. I mean, I'm probably going to fail it, but... Lost in Amber. A spherical room. The ceiling drips honey. The walls and floor are glazed with warm orange-yellow. It... It is gives under your touch. What? <laughs> I think it's supposed to say it gives under your touch. Slowly. But when you try to pull your hands free... It takes all your strength. Tables and chairs project through the yard-thick amber on the floor. Enough to cross, perhaps. Let's do it. Damn, it succeeded again. Rolling some good die here. You, you each step cautiously from chair to table to bench. Thankfully, the amber's grasp keeps the furniture from swaying too much. As you reach the far side... A careless crewman stumbles, and the chair swings sideways with a clotted splorch sound. But you've made it across. Alright, still 100% chance? Yep. Alright. Let's go deeper. I've got 10 left. Alright, so I went one more, so I'm going to have to go back. Let's see, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to need six candles to get back. But do I have to? I'm just thinking, those, those little events, like the one I just did where I walked over the amber stuff. If you fail that, do you have to eat up another candle? I wonder. I don't think so. It sounds like you just maybe loo a crew here or a crew there if you fail. Yeah. Alright. Whoa. A frenzied assault. One, two, six, seven, eight. A rabble of leathery mummy things, mouths agape, comes boiling from crevices. Crooked limbs reach for you. Let's do it. Fifty, fifty-seven. Damn, I succeeded again. Push through. They're tenacious. These leather remnants, but not strong. Some force has distorted remnants of women and men into ragged, furious mannequins. They still breathe. They still ate. Bat blood runs from the mouth of this one before you take off its head with a swing of your cutlass. Then they're behind you. Their roars of incredulous rage fading. Still 100% chance of success. Let's go deeper. Alright, that's... Another mark. 
You've reached the Citadel's root. Yes. I wonder if this is the end. Let's see. The Gate of Forms. Here, in the floor, because of the stalactite's fall, is a gate of glittering... Chal Chalcedony? Chalcedony? That's gotta be like calcium, Chalcedony. Half lost beneath rubble, but thick enough to resist the most determined assault. Its surface is a relief of twisted limbs, distorted faces, screaming in... Glee? Carved? Molded? Impossibly. Natural? A pit at its center might be a key socket. Or only a mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not saying oh my god because of anything I just found, but just oh my god because I just realized. If I didn't have this ambiguous eolith with me, I wouldn't be able to unlock this thing. This whole trip would have been a complete waste and I would have had to go out. And I would have wasted like 400 echo worth of candles. I'm really, really glad I had that ambiguous eolith. It really pays to keep at least one of everything with you just for story events. And I believe I was going to use this eolith for Port Cecil, but uh, that can wait. This is more important. Alright, shove that thing in there. Making an entrance. Perhaps once, the gate was finely counterbalanced. Perhaps once, hidden machineries would have roared at the touch of the eolith, and the gate would have swung open like oiled glass. Now, the eolith only triggers the unlocking mechanism. It takes three sailors with crowbars to move the rubble and force the door open. Down open. So that when you bring it free, it collapses inwards with an echoing crash. Climb through the gap, into a space that roars with wind. The Root Gallery. You've traversed half the length of the stalactite called Godfall, from the monastery to here. The starved men cut a tremendous gallery around the whole root of the stalactite, leaving a vast central pillar to support its weight. In its day, the view must have been unrivaled. Remnants of salvaged glass and wooden eating houses, viewing booths, site temples still cling to the edges, but the root has been shattered, and the stalactite fell. Go a little closer. Clamber carefully across the tilted surface of the gallery floor towards the shattered stump of the root. Let's go. Whoa, uh, some, something happened. Let's hold on. Oh my god, a lot of stuff happened. <laughs> a dozen corpses, decades dry, lie at the stalagmite's root. You think there was a barricade here, but the fall has smashed it and the remnants have fallen into the sea. Were they defending the route? Gunner Atkins squints at the scorched and shattered rock and nods wisely. Gunpowder, he opines. Blew it up themselves. Killed the whole city. Starved men, huh? Alice heard they fight each other. Mad as toads. In the immemorial tradition of subterranean adventures, you search the corpses. Well, it's not like they've been buried. Their bones of their limbs and faces are blurred and twisted like melted wax. You find trinkets. Disgusting remnant chunks and... Oh, good God. Yes. Yes, that's worth a bit. Worth a lot. Best not let your men see it. <laughs> Nothing else remains here. Signal your ship with flares and she'll approach. You can scramble down and drop into the Z to be retrieved. Much safer than the tunnels of Godfall. Oh, I... So I don't even need to use my candles to get back. Alright, seven relics. An eyeless skull. I wonder what that's for. A captivating treasure. That's worth a thousand. And two secrets. Okay, well that was definitely worth it. That is freaking awesome. Yeah, that is, that is really good. Seven Lamentable Relics. Damn. The Eyeless Skull, which sounds like a really important thing, and I have no idea what it's used for. Captivating Treasure worth a thousand. Two Secrets. This is just... This is really good. 
It's hard to quantify how much stuff the, some of this stuff is exactly worth, but the captivating treasure alone makes it worth it. So let's see what this thing is. This eyeless skull. Thick plates of bone have developed over the orbits, as if to hide or protect them. They are smooth and cold to the touch. Ergo light glimmers in the line of the jaw. Hmm. I think I might know what this is for. And I think the hint is in the Ergo light. I'll check that in a second. Let's get out of here. Hmm, you won't find much more of interest if you go back unless you have a particular reason to go back. Okay. So unless some quest event tells me to come back here, I think I've picked the place clean. Yes, yeah, so that's it for this place. So what I'm thinking that Isla's Skull is for is perhaps one of the colors that I need for Vendor Bite. One of these colors that I almost never look at. So Arago. Do I need to say Ar Oh, there we go. Eyes for Arago. No one remembers why. Arago colors the forgotten corners of home. Well, it doesn't really specifically mention anything that would make me think it's connected to the skull. However, it does say Arago, and the skull did say Arago, so I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah. Oh, wait. It's a mascot. I had no idea that was a mascot. Veils plus four, mirrors minus two. Hello, Eyeless Skull. That is a grim, grim mascot, but I suppose it's probably better than my comatose ferret. Alright, mirrors minus two. Yeah, I mean, I think that's worth it. Upgrades my crappy veil skill to be a little bit better. But, it's definitely not great, so if I did need to give it away for the Vendor Bite quest, I wouldn't mind doing that. Oh god, now I'm going to have that skull up there. Forever. Keeping me company. Creepy. Okay, well now I have nine Foxfire candles. I guess I'm just going to sell them? I guess... Can I sell them at Con's Art? Or can I only buy them? Yep, yeah, you can only buy them there. Can sell them back at London for 20, I think, which is half the price that I paid for them in London. 180 Echoes. Yep, that's 20 each. Is there any place that dated Foxfire Candles? I mean. I guess I could, like, take them plus a flare and go back to Nuncio and go back into the basement? I don't know if that would do anything, though. I don't know if I finished up in the basement in Nuncio or, or what. And I don't have the flare anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, I definitely want to go to Abbey Rock with the Romantic Literature to continue the officer's quest. So let's go do that. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, wait a minute. Do I want to sell my captivating treasure at Con Shadow? It's right there. The thing is, the captivating treasure can be used for other things. Like, I've seen certain quest events that use it. Although, I'm looking at my notes, and I don't actually have anything in my notes that specifically mention them. I need to write down more stuff in my notes about what items can be used to unlock certain quest stuff. But if it was something that really attracted me, where I saw, like, this takes one captivating treasure and it's going to give me something amazing. If I saw something like that, I would have written it down. So I should probably just sell it. But there's no reason to. I mean, I don't need the money at the moment, so I might as well keep a hold of it. Because I can always sell it later if I find myself needing the money. But yeah, right now, I don't. It's fine. I think it's just going to do donuts, isn't it? Oh, no. It's going straight north. Excellent. Sneaking under it. That is a Canate warship, right? Yeah, it's got to be. 
Damn it, it saw me even without my lights on. Yeah, there's no way it has a range to kill me. Don't they know I have a Kanate trading ring? How dare they shoot me. Okay, I need fuel supplies and five romantic literature. Don't want to buy too many supplies, I really don't need that many. Alright, got the romantic literature. Definitely enough supplies, enough fuel to go over there and then to London, definitely. Okay. All good on that. Alright, well, before this episode becomes too long, I think I'm going to end this here. I know, I'm a story tease. But... It feels nice to end it here, because... Not just because it's a cliffhanger for you, but it's a cliffhanger for me, too, because... I'm really excited to see what's going to happen next. And if I end it right before I do something cool, like going to Abbey Rock to have a hundred-plus-year-old woman fight a monster over romantic literature... If I leave it on a cliffhanger like that, I really want to come back to see what happens. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I come back, we're going to see if the 100-year-old woman ends up having hot, sweaty, angry sex with a monster. <laughs>